That is one cozy looking shack over there. Made of ramshackled trash and shit. Let's go see what's up. One thing I like about uh, New Vegas, though, is that the water isn't irradiated. Like in Fallout 3. Because in Fallout 3, there was a lot of fucking water in that game, and all of it was super dirty and irradiated. Up until, I think, the Broken Steel DLC, where a lot of it got cleaned out because of, you know... I would, I would have to explain the entire plot of Fallout 3, and I don't feel like doing that, so... Because Broken Steel was like the story continuation of the, the main campaign. And I remember for the longest time, I really wanted New Vegas to have something like that. Like, I wanted a, a New Vegas Broken Steel equivalent. Very, very badly. But, uh, now, because I'm older and, you know, I understand things better... I know why they, they opted not to do that. Because, you know, New Vegas is just different from Fallout 3 story-wise. New Vegas, they were going for more of a... More of a, you know, that feeling of finality and conclusiveness, I think, when you wrap up the story. And that's why you can't continue playing after you, you beat the game. As much as it sucks, I do understand why they did it. Holy shit, oh god. Uh, please die. I hate lake lurks. I feel like they're not even that hard to kill. They just do like a fucking ass ton of damage. There we go. Popped his head off, baby. Look at Rex. These guys are just trying to fight. Here, Rex, I'll give you some supporting fire. Eh, I don't even know if I can hit this guy. Yeah, I think the water is just going to absorb everything. Alright, well... I'm just going to get out of here. If that guy decides to get out of the water and do something, I, yeah, I got nothing here. <laughs> like, him and Rex are just kind of having a conversation. They're not even fighting. There's no threat here. Anyway, the aeroplane we're looking for, I kind of want to wait until daytime. Oh, I can't wait because there's a fucking lake lurk over there. I want to wait until daytime because I feel like this is going to suck at night in dark-ass deep water. But I can't wait. Oh, I can wait. Alright, never mind. Let's give this a good 11 hours or so. There are certain things I just don't like doing at night in this game. And this is one of them. You know, I was about to deal with some extra enemies, because I, I think the lake lurks typically come out more during the day. Seems like whenever I'm around these parts at night, I don't really encounter them a whole lot. Alright, so... Holy shit, there's Cazadors here? Rex just killed a Cazador? Oh no. That's not... Oh god, he's getting killed by Cazadors is what's happening. Okay, so this, like, dock area is kind of where we're, we're working from here, so here we go! Over a nice swim. The waters of Lake Mead. Hey, we got fish. We don't have to worry about drowning, so I can just be all willy-nilly and explore shit. I know that there's, like, an underwater cave around here somewhere. But there's nothing in it except pretty colors, so I don't know if I should even bother going in there. It'd be kind of cool. Let's see why not. <clears throat> With the rebreather, anything's possible. Alright, here's the crashed plane, baby. Let's throw these ballasts on here. One side. And yeah, we gotta go over here and do the other side. Pretty neat plane, though. I mean, it's definitely an old plane, for sure. It's older than time. It's like, what, a B-29? Alright, there goes the other ballast. And now we can resurface. Do -do -do -do. Power armor man. Swimming like a champ. Michael Phelps would be envious of this man's raw strength, swimming in power armor. Wasn't possible in Fallout 4, but nobody gives a shit in New Vegas, or Fallout 3 for that matter. Hey, is that Rex? Yeah, Rex is swimming with me. I was going to say, either that or the Loch Ness Monster is kind of slowly trailing me. Alright. So now, I believe we need to like walk up to 
this thing, this harpoon. Then we gotta like pull out the the detonator that Loyal gave us. And boop! Here we go. And there's the plane. Yay! And now apparently they're gonna have a bunch of like robots come drag the plane out of the lake and bring it back to the base, and then they're gonna rebuild it. According to Loyal, I think. Well, cool. That pretty much wraps up the Boomer quest line. What's cool about that is that when they get that plane up and running, they use it to rain hellfire on your enemies at Hoover Dam. I'm pretty sure they also completely destroy the fort and a bunch of other, like, Legion bases, which is kind of cool. I can't what believe up? we may see the... It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Well, I got some good news for you. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. Cool. Hey, I better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. The super fortress Sounds built in my lifetime. Now let's go talk to Pearl and ask her for her favor in battle. She's the leader around here. We gotta kinda consult her and be like, hey, after all this stuff I've done for you, I, I would kinda like it if you would use your your aeroplane bobber to destroy my enemies. And then she's gonna be like, yep, sure. Sounds like fun. I mean, what's the point of rebuilding and restoring a new plane if we're not gonna do anything with it? This is the true test of that plane's functionality. Or at least it will be. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Uh, B-29, there you go. Good what news. you have done for us is a miracle, child. Not the first you time I've heard that. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Oh, there, there's definitely a way to help. Yeah, battle at Hoover Dam. I need your assistance. Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. Yeah, see, we'll it is a win-win. Great. See ya. That quest is done. Now we can go talk to the Yes Man and tell him that that shit is all wrapped up. Also, I need to, like, jump into the DLC at some point. So, I'm, pro I'm probably going to do that soon, and in t to that effect, we'll probably... Which one would I, I want to do first? Northern Passage, isn't this... This leads you to the Honest Hearts DLC. We'll probably do Honest Hearts first, because I think that's like the easiest DLC. I'll probably try to do the DLC in order of difficulty. So we'll do Honest Hearts first, and then we'll do... Yeah, whatever, whatever after that. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. <clears throat> but we'll, we definitely need to do the DLC. So let's start doing that. Let's start preparing for that. Let's go to the strip. And talk to the Yes Man and start getting ready for the Honest Hearts DLC. And get ready for that DLC. I believe there's like a weight limit before you're allowed to go. Like, the, the stupid caravan asshole won't take you there. Unless you have, like, I think less than 70, 75 pounds of shit. So, I'm gonna have to do some, like, inventory planning. That's gonna kind of blow tits, but... It is what it is. I'm really tired of this NCR guy standing here. I wish he would. NCR should take this chance now that Mr. House is out of the way. You should go somewhere else for a change. Like unglitch yourself, sir. I'm sick of seeing you here. Lucky 38 is my property now. Son of a bitch. All right, let's go report to arguably one of the most annoying NPCs of all time. I really like Yes Man though. Like, I don't like his character, but like. He's very well voice acted. His voice actor just did a hell of a job making an annoying fucking smiley face man that I hate. The Securitrons at the port are on standby. I see a status log here confirming 
that the Mark II OS upgrade installed correctly. They'll be all set to go once we boost my transmitting power and bring them online with the network. But we'll worry about that later. Cool. Please, go on. Alright, so let's talk about boomers. Yeah, we, they, uh, we got their support. Really? Talk about diplomatic skills. I mean, just not getting blown up was a success. Now they'll only blow up the right sorts of people. That's what matters. That's two down, three to go. Perfect. Uh, I don't think I did anything else. Oh yeah, we wiped out the Brotherhood. Yeah, there we go. You really know how to make a robot happy. Ow. Seriously, <laughs> you just made. I forgot. My yeah, yes, man. Like hates the Brotherhood That's of Steel. Three down, two to go. Probably because the Brotherhood of Steel is all about technology, and he is technology. If you're tired of a topic, I'm tired of it too. Thanks. All right. Come back later if you need anything. Let's go to the old presidential suite and dump off a bunch of shit that I'm not allowed to use. Oh, yeah. And Rex, I think we'll just... God, well, Rex is gonna... Oh, fuck, I went to the wrong floor. I'm stupid. Yeah, Rex is gonna have to stay here because he can't come with during this DLC, I don't think. Unfortunate, but we'll have to say goodbye to Rex for a little bit. Had to happen at some point. Alright, so... I'm going to take a nappy nap, and then I'm going to put all my stuff in this wardrobe right here, and hopefully I'm not going to forget it. Okay, first of all, what weapons do I want to bring? Uh, that anti-material rifle is heavier than shit. I don't think I can take that. I definitely want my power armor. So, I'll keep, keep those, and then we'll keep... Yeah, we'll get rid of the anti-material rifle, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of those, uh, I'm probably going to want to get rid of those, I'll have to see here in a minute, I also kind of want to keep the shotgun, but we're on a tight budget here, people, get rid of the machine gun, we'll get rid of the minigun, we'll get rid of that gun, and I think that should be, I don't know, I do not know. The only aid that I'm going to take is stim packs and the anti venom because that's going to be useful too. Let's get rid of all that. Let's get rid of all this. Uh, doctor's bags have weight. So I kind of want to keep them because they're good. Medex, Mentage, Prickly Pear Fruit. Yeah. I'm going to keep. Actually, no, I'll just, I'm not going to get any use out of that. Water, I'll get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of that. Good thing stim packs don't have weight, because that would make life a little bit rough. Uh, whiskey, get rid of you, get rid of all of this, and let's get rid of all of these fucking... Oh, I forgot to put on my Assault Carbine Extended Mags. I'll just put those away for now. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm only going to be able to take, like, a couple of weapons. <laughs> like, that sucks. I'm going to have to put more stuff away here. Does any of this ammo have weight? No. Alright. Alright, so let's get rid of the grenade stuff. I'm going to have to let that go. Uh, I'll keep the pistol, I guess. Maria. I'll keep Maria and I'll get rid of the 10 millimeter. Yeah, there we go. Smart investment. Get rid of those grenades. Now, we need to pick which of these guns I would like to take with me. Can't take them all. Uh, Trail Carbine's definitely coming with. Maria is definitely coming with. I mean, this thing is fucking. Hold on, can I fix this? Oh, never mind, I'm done. Uh, I'll get rid of the assault carbine too. I guess I don't really need the hunting shotgun. And getting rid of it would definitely open up my weight. Uh, yes, let's get rid of that. So we're going in with the trail carbine, the M1 Garin Super Battle Rifle, 10mm SMG, and Maria. 
and of course the cool power armor <clears throat> and all my stim packs coolio I wonder if there's something else I should do oh yeah I was gonna go to the New Vegas medical clinic and get some stuff done there all right so let me do my hotkey up real quick let's see trail carbine 10 millimeter SMG there we go let's get the fuck out of here go to New Vegas medical because I, I want to get some implants real quick I would like to get a um, what do you call it? The implant for strength plus one? My buddy's that would be good. I could also get that implant for like increased a can of breathing. fucking, what is it? Like, I think damage threshold, but that one is crazy expensive. That one is like, I think eight or nine thousand caps, if not more. Hello there. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Uh, sort of. Uh, what about implants? One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. You swine. The you I are, should kill the you. more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Alright, so I think <clears throat> you can get as many implants as, like, your endurance skill. So your endurance skill equates to how many you can get. I think my endurance is like six. I, don't, I definitely don't need six implants. I can implant the hypertrophy accelerator for 4,000 caps. That is It will boost your adrenal glands pricey. and quickly increase your muscle mass. Grant, it is a good benefit, but still. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. All right, so now I have like another point into strength, which will let me use some more weapons more effectively. What are my strengths sitting at? It should be six. Six, yes. All right, cool. I wonder if I should put another point into strength. Let's see. I don't know, man. I think it's kind of unnecessary, but at the same time, maybe smart. Another skill that I want. Why is my endurance so low right now? Why is it three? What, what is happening here? What the fuck? Why is my endurance so low? Am I, like, under the influence of... Oh wait, I think I have radiation poisoning. You're back. Yeah, that's right. It'll be easy enough to purge all rads from your system. I think radiation poisoning kind of. All right, this will only take a few minutes. Kinda cripples them stats a little bit. Can you cure my addiction? What am I addicted to? Oh yeah, I'm addicted to buff out. You really ought to avoid using those kinds of chems. Don't but you, I'll see what I can don't do. Don't judge me. I I needed the inventory all right. space. Sit still and let me work. Thanks. All right. Take care. I wonder if I should buy more stim packs while I'm here. Honestly, I'm gonna do it. You're back. Yeah, I need stim packs. Sorry that I keep. Because you're a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. All right, give me. Did I already come here and buy? Oh wait, no. There's a bunch of stim packs. Give me them. Um, yes, I'll take those too. I need doctor's bags. I'll take that. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. I still have twelve thousand caps, and I still have two casinos to gamble at. So there's that. All right, everything is looking good. Endurance is back up, strength is back up. Let's go ahead and make way towards the northern passage here. Which is, what would be the quickest way to pull this off? Eh, Horowitz Farmstead. Looks pretty close. Hopefully there's no Cazadors here. I think that's usually the fucking problem with this area.